flow like water, so I'm going mainstream. Yep. Did, didn't uh, uh, Peyton Manny's nephew attend IMG Academy? Uh, seemed like I heard something about that. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure to be honest. Could in, be. in the years, the years you attended, what years did you attend? Um, I was there 2015 to 2016. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So I was there my senior season. I unfortunately got injured. I had to get sur- undergo a surgery on my ankle, so I didn't ha- get to play my senior season. I reclassed and did a postgraduate year there. So I ended up graduating class of 2016 and then I committed to Chicago State. And then I kind of bounced around a little for college. I went to Chicago State, Western Kentucky. Um, I went to junior college and then uh, went to NAIA school. And then I signed with an agent most recently. Uh, My agent is uh, Dean Hadley and I'm under representation with BSM uh Ben Lowe Sports Management. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So Zach Ben Lowe controls my management and everything. And Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. That's been going good so far. I'm just waiting for the right deal. So just grinding every day, waiting for that right deal to present itself. Absolutely. And uh you had an opportunity here in the States to play for some Euro League camps. If yeah. I'm not mistaken, could you talk about that? Yeah, for sure. I, I went to um, Indianapolis and participated in the Eurobasket um, ESL League. That was a two-day combine. We did drills. We played a little. And uh, that was showcased to overseas scouts. And it was a lot of top college guys, um, guys who had already been in pro. So that was a good experience. I got some film from there and made some good connections. Okay, okay. Now, when those uh, Euro League uh, scouts come through, how many, how many, how many scouts were there, and uh, what countries were represented? Um, I know it was actually kind of weird because because of COVID and everything, travel regulations for certain countries. So I don't know how many were on in hand, but mm-hmm. I I know the whole camp and event was streamed uh, streamed online. So I know people watched from almost every country that uh, scouts for professional basketball. That's what Dustin over at Eurobasket let us know. Uh, He's in charge over there. Shout out Dustin. He's a good guy. (laughs) Yeah, he's a great guy. That's all right. So let's, um, what I'm going to do is just highlight um, some of the uh, college players that are actually getting paid. And, um, and that's something that you've been for, for a long time. Is that correct? (laughs) <laughs> yeah, no, nah, for sure. <laughs> I feel like it's very long overdue, and I'm glad they finally uh, finally did that. Okay. So um, Hannah and Haley uh, Cavender from uh, Fresno State's Women's Basketball uh, on their Twitter, uh, their tweet read, uh, on a billboard in Times Square, what what is life blessed? Uh, the sisters, Hannah and Haley Cavender wasted no time making a deal once the new NCAA policy went into place, which was uh, uh, 12 midnight, July 1st. Uh, uh, The two Fresno State women's basketball players uh, became spokespeople for Boost Mobile. Uh, That's the reason why they were on the billboard in Times Square. Um, The two Fresno State women's basketball players became spokespeople for Boost Mobile, a triumph of the new NCAA endorsement rules. Their endorsements uh, made headlines on a billboard in Times Square. And their deal was arranged with uh, Icon Source, a platform that connects athletes with companies. Uh, Icon uh, Source says it helped arrange over a dozen endorsements in the opening hours after the new rule went into effect July 1st. Uh, Also, we're going to highlight Bo Nix, Auburn football. uh, His tweet on Twitter read, Auburn QB Bo Nix announces an endorsement deal with Milo's Sweet Tea, uh, which is a phenomenal, uh, by by the way. 
Uh, life just got a whole lot sweeter for Auburn quarterback Bo Nix after he announced an endorsement deal with Milo's Tea Company. However, the news left a, a sour taste in the mouths of uh, Alabama fans. So uh, before we get into more of your story, uh, Miles, uh, uh, we're going to highlight and review. Uh, we are sneakerheads. We're going to review uh, this uh, Jordan brand uh, ADG2 uh, golf shoe. And to do that, we have uh, a gentleman with us, uh, Nathan. Uh, Nathan, how you doing today, Nathan? Good, how are you? How are you? Uh, excellent, excellent. We're here with uh, Miles Weber and Lil Dynamite, me, Harry Dynamite. What up, though? What up? All right. So you had an opportunity to uh, purchase. Uh, you were gifted some shoes by your brother, uh, Carson, my man, Carson. He's a stand up dude. He definitely uh, stick to the G code. You know what I mean? He a, he a cool dude. And uh, I know he plays golf maybe on the weekends two or three times a day. You actually play almost every day. Is that right, Nathan? Yeah, that is right. I have been playing a lot of golf the last few years and um it was great trying out the shoes it was great um i really did enjoy them they're uh they're actually really really comfortable shoes and um yeah i got them right here i got them <laughs> they're yes, awesome. sir. they're awesome um my favorite thing about these shoes actually was uh the whole traction the traction part about them yeah amazing I had little to no slipping, and I played in the rain twice with them. What? And nothing, nothing wrong about it, traction on them. They were they were stern and awesome. But uh, I have really narrow feet too. So, and this is more of a wider shoe. You can kind of tell. Oh. Me. But it was great for my narrow feet. It was awesome. Okay. Okay. That's good to hear. Good. Yeah. Good. Oh, yeah. And I know that uh, myself and uh, Carson, we uh, look forward to setting up a uh, private kind of sneaker event with him and some of his friends and definitely invite you uh, to that event as well. And uh, we're looking at uh, getting your dad into some of these uh, ADG uh, twos. Did, when he saw you and Carson with him, what did he think? Oh, he was he, he didn't know what to expect because um... – you know, Carson brought home these shoes one day and, you know, he, uh, he bought a, he bought the, he bought the shoes and knowing that I play a lot of golf and said, you know, take these out in the course and give them your honest review. So I wrote down a few notes and honestly, they're, they treated me really well in the course. I had uh, one of my best uh, golfing rounds with them on. I shot a 78 with them. Which is uh -huh. really good for me. Anytime okay. eighty is awesome. And um, but besides the performance, the design of them are uh, I love them because they have that athletic look. And also, obviously, you know Jordan and how uh, I love the Chicago Bulls. The the colors are awesome. Yeah, and Miles is from Chicago, right, Miles? Oh, yeah. yes, sir, yes, sir. You know I love the Bulls. <laughs> I bet, I bet. Besides this Lakers hat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. all well, right um they're they were really well like i said i played in the rain with them and uh they are waterproof so i i was getting them really wet and i had no discomfort whatsoever on the course that day so okay awesome. yeah that's what's up and i see you got a lot of swag to you right there i see you got a lot of swag to you we look forward to talking to you some more and definitely uh chilling with uh, Carson and seeing you at uh, that uh, private sneaker event that we're going to have. And we appreciate you joining us. All right, Nathan. Oh, definitely. Yeah. That'd be awesome. Anytime you need me, uh, me or Carson, you know, let them know. And I'm always here for it. All right. Peace. All right. Thank you, bro. Really what up, though? All right. What up, though? Have a good one. All right. You too, man. Thanks. All right.
I'm back. <laughs> All right. Yay. So uh, with that said, um, uh, when we, we flip the script to sneakerheads, before we get more into your story, uh, Miles, uh, we definitely, by you being our second um, uh, uh, guest here and uh, a professional guest with an agent and representation and definitely your story of getting out of the mud and entrepreneurism before we get into the JUCO leagues and the D1 leagues and more about your story and your travels to Europe. Uh I want to show you uh, some gifts that you have to choose oh, from okay. uh, as parting gifts. So uh, the first gift uh, you can choose from one of these three gifts. One of them is a combo, but the first one are these uh, 54 inch uh, shoestrings and this nice blue. They kind of no. matches. Uh, <laughs> they kind of match uh, the blue that's on our uh, font right here, and they're okay. 54 inches. <laughs> They're uh, 54 okay, okay. inches, so they can go with some high tops. You That's can choose from these. <laughs> you can choose from those. Or, or you could choose from this combo gift. You could get these um, uh, haunted ghost pepper uh, uh, chips, and these is uh, super hot. Okay. And it's a combo because these particular chips mm -hmm. will get you ready for the uh, one chip challenge. Oh, no. Uh, the one chip challenge, the $8 chips, and uh, they have a warning. We might have to run this by your uh, agent to see yeah. if you can actually. That, that sounds uh, like it's gonna have me on the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> I know, they uh, they good going in, but it's rough coming out with this yeah. ghost stuff with knees even worse right here. So, yeah. you know, you the got the choice. The shoelace is better than that right now. Uh, yeah, yeah, the shoe. <laughs> right, right. To or, eat or to what? <laughs> you know what they say, though. Know, the, the third time's the charm. The third okay. time. Or you could choose these, these uh, James Harden uh, step backs, these step back tools, these Adidas step back tools. They have some good technology and good court grip in them. And, uh, you know, Harden has a mean step back. I was noticing some of your recruitment tapes and some of your tapes. And first thing I noticed is that you also have a mean step back. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. And then they in some fly colors that you can rock in yeah, Arizona, right. in and some of the cool. hot cities. You know what I mean? I know you may be thinking about gear to go with them at this point. <laughs> so, um, you know. May, may I give you a recommendation? <laughs> You know, the shoes are cool and all, but I kind of like the blue in that lace, so I, I would suggest you get the <laughs> lace. The laces on the Hardens? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I can't pass on the Hardens. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the Harden step back, but you don't have to, you don't think about it. You know, you might have to text your agent to see, you know, maybe he might want you to go with the chips and y'all do a one chip challenge. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, but we'll find out. <laughs> Harry, keep the two for me. <laughs> so so wonderful but well, we'll we'll find out at the end of the show so okay, let's just kind of talk about for those who are just joining us we're here with guests um little dynamite uh, we're here with guest uh, Miles Weber, who is a pro overseas prospect at IMG Academy alum. Uh, and, and we've been discussing college athletes getting paid, the sports entertainment business, and uh, fashion brand entrepreneurism. Uh, Miles uh, also attended some D1 leagues and camps and uh, played in the JUCO league. And he's basically here to talk about how to get it out of the mud and how to get to the big leagues. So, Miles, let's kind of go over some of your JUCO league uh, experiences. Um, tell me about your JUCO league experiences. For sure. Yeah. And stick it to the G code and the cheat code at the same time. Oh, no, I got you for sure. So I went to junior college actually in southern Arkansas in a town called Camden. Uh, wasn't really much there. We had to drive like an hour and a half to see a movie, go to a mall, go to a phone store, get a good meal, like anything. So it was it was kind of kept me focused definitely on my academics as well as my athletics. And we were just in the gym grinding 24-7. I mean, we, we, it was class to the gym, class to the gym. 
Um, we went straight from class to the gym. We were probably there for practice. We had study hall usually. So we would go class, study hall, practice, probably be done by nine o'clock. But as far as that, uh, my school, Southern Arkansas University Tech, it was an existing school, but they didn't have a basketball program for about 50 years. So wow. we, we were actually the inaugural season. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. In Arkansas, mm -hmm. the Ar they had their Arkansas Razorbacks, right? They got, Do they got a ball team or they just football? Yeah, 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 yeah. No, that's in uh, that's in Fayetteville. That was like about five hours. I think that's uh, kind of up north in Arkansas. Mm -hmm. We were in the south. We were real close to Louisiana. Okay, okay. So yeah. a little bit further than pre for President Clinton stomping grounds, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So we um, – <laughs> We, we did real well. We were a Division II JUCO. We actually won our conference. We went 19 and 10. Uh, they didn't let us go to the national tournament because it was our first year uh, returning as a junior college. So you were in the inaugural season of a, of, of a junior college in Arkansas, and they didn't have basketball program for 50 years. No, not like 50 years. They, there, there were actually pictures and trophies and stuff from the, from the last team still up in the in the school and everything when we were there so we kind of set set the bar for them they actually won um they actually won the conference and got to travel to danville illinois which we didn't get to i was kind of salty me and all my teammates were like man we didn't get to go but they did but shout out to coach marty over there he's doing his thing what uh, up though coach marty <laughs> yeah yeah it's a good guy but yeah so we were there uh we, we beat a lot of top teams uh from Texas, Louisiana, Mississippi. We would go into ho some hostile environments and uh, beat <laughs> these away teams. Their fans would be mad, talking crazy, trying to get us out of there. We had to get police escorted a few times. It was it was definitely definitely a cool experience. Like water, so I'm going mainstream.